One of the most common calls we receive, uh, but people don't realize how simple it is, is to adjust the outlet pressure on our regulators, the census regulators, 143s, 243s. So today I'm going to demonstrate how simple it is to adjust that uh, outlet pressure. Ensure that uh, your downstream equipment is capable of handling any increase in outlet pressure and ensure that you have a pressure gauge or manometer downstream to monitor your pressure as you are increasing your pressure. The pressure range should be stamped or otherwise note, noted on the regulator. So be sure to note that before you try changing pressure. Today I'm going to show you how to change your outlet pressure on a 243-82. The first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we have a manometer to monitor our outlet pressure downstream. Also ensure that all of your equipment downstream can withstand the increase of outlet pressure. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our dust cap and we're going to check our spring. We will remove the adjustment button check our spring. This is a green spring. This is going to be good for 12 to 28 inches of water column on a 243.8. That is going to be for our outlet pressure. So when we are reinstalling our spring button, make sure that you do not cross thread it. Make sure that it is properly installed so that you do not uh, have any problems increasing your pressure. At this time, we're going to go ahead and energize the regulator. And you will see an increase on our manometer. So as we drive this spring down further, adjusting the spring button, you can see our pressure increases. For our outlet. And there's our 28 inches. And again, backing off that spring button will decrease our pressure. And bring us back down to our original 12 inches of water column. That's the complete demonstration of how to increase our pressure and decrease our pressure for 243.8.